Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's talk about reusing a common project. So Patrick Devlin reached out to me. He was a is he's with a group of former Avid editors who do this kind of thing all the time and they do it in a different way. And he was asking about how to share a common project, like a show opening or um, a big production where they add, they start with the same thing and add their own things onto it. And typically, uh, the word that would come up would be template, and Premiere Pro does not have templates, but you can import a project that works the same way. And the first question I get when I show people importing a project is they ask, if I just imported a project, if the, if I made changes here, does it change what I imported? The answer is no. Importing is the exact same as copying everything into a new project. Now, I think that's the way most people want to work is that the, what they imported is independent. Now, I do have a whole tutorial on working on productions and that might be a better way for some way to work. But in this um, tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import a project. Well, what it is importing a project with all the uh, separate pieces. And uh, it's, it's how I use my show. When I start my show, the bug that's over here is already on a track. The intro music is there, the credits, the outro, all of that. It's all part of uh, the project. So let's go do that now. So here is the project uh, I'm working on and shout out to uh, Motion Array because I needed a, a show opening. So there's no way I'm going to go and create something like that just for a tutorial. So I, I simply use that uh, from Motion Array and that's my opening uh, music too. And then same with the background and I've got a bug over here on the right and I've got a lower third and the background. So the background is just stretched out. It's a long video. So. All of the pieces are on the left. So there's the show opening bumper. There is the credit clips at the end. So if we go to the end, um, I've got the music and then the credits come up. And uh, I've got to give a shout out to my uh, buddy. Hey, Gary, I stuck you in as the uh, president of Sport Talk. Hey, Gary. <laughs> okay, on the uh, left, uh, there's all the credit clips, um, there's all the graphics, and uh, the music and everything. And I call this the template sequence. So we don't open this at all. So I'll close this sequence. We don't use this project at all. I'll close it up and protect it. And I'll start with a new project. Now this is the new, um, this is the new, import mode. This is also where you start a new project. So I'm going to call this sports uh, episode uh, 25. And over here is where it's going to be. So you can choose a location. And I'm just going to stick mine in my test folder for now. Okay. So there's the name of the project. That's where it is. I'm not using this import at all because this import dialog box does not show you Premiere Pro projects or After Effects projects. So don't select anything over on the right. Make sure nothing is turned on over here and just create a new project. That's how you have to create a new project in the new version of Premiere Pro. We can't do it from just that opening uh, splash screen. We have to do it that way, but we can bypass that. And now we can go to our old friend, the media browser. So from here, I'm going to jump to my shows. And it's in this one here. So there's the project here. If I click on the project, it loads. And that's one of, that's a, a feature um, in Premiere Pro where sometimes you don't want to import the whole project. You want to actually peek inside the project, pick one timeline and import that. But I want to bring in the whole thing because I only have one timeline. So instead of, you could click on the left and show it there. It's on the right. I'll just right click on it and choose import. 
It's just a little quicker. Sometimes when you click on it with a slow computer, it has to load Dynamic Link. And you might be thinking Dynamic Link is an After Effects thing. Dynamic Link is also a Premiere Pro thing, but it still has to load it to look in the background. So let's just import everything. So entire sequence. I'm not going to import selected sequences, e import the whole thing. Basically, leave this on the default, click OK, and there it is. So maybe I shouldn't have uh, created a folder. I, I had an option for that. And there is my template sequence right there. So everything is there ready to go. Oh, I didn't mean to leave her in there. So let me uh, take her out. Now that must have been a... Okay, so now I can use Media Browser to bring in the talent that I need, or I could go to the import um, mode and bring in this guy here. So he's what I want to bring in. So I click on him once. He shows up down at the bottom. I import him. There he is. Hit the import. Now I want to drag, bring him into here. Boom. So now let's look at the, the opening. Oh, he's too big. Right click, set to frame size, get my effects. Ultra. Stick this on aggressive. And there we go. So that's how to start with a common project, but just as important how to protect the common project so that no one's changing it. So you make sure that that everyone leaves it alone and they just import it through the media browser. Maybe it gets updated, like I do that with my show, I'll call mine V2, V3, V4. As I update my template, maybe I add in different credits or a different lower third or a different graphic that I wanna reuse. So I will open that up carefully, only add what I want, save as V2, V3, whatever, close it up and then leave it alone until I need to import it or change it in the future. So pretty easy, but it, it's it's a, it's one that you could easily miss. Um, and like I said, some people get worried about being, are they changing the outside project and you're not. There is no way to link to an external project. So if you're thinking, I would like to be able to change that, but think of the implications. If you changed an outside project that you imported into a show, you would have to remember all the places you used it because you've now changed it all the previous shows that used it. I don't think that's a good way to work. I like importing it in and then uh, working it from there. So uh, there you go, Patrick. Hopefully, uh, I mean, I answered you an email a while ago, but hopefully this is something that uh, you do now in a Premiere Pro workflow. You can share this with your uh, peers and let everyone else know, and uh, this can be very useful. I use it on all my edits. Hey, if you're new to Video Real and you found this uh, informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more like our wonderful donors out there. You can do that through videoreveal.com slash shop. See that graph, that graphic? That was part of the, the template. Um, it's already there in the timeline on V2, so uh, I don't have to worry about it. So you can donate once or monthly, any amount. There's a bunch of free stuff to download. There's a member section and uh, lots of cool stuff you can buy. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get down to the nitty gritty of the information you need to make your workflow work even faster.